Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I wanted to show you tonight some ways that I have been embellishing some journal pages. Um, I have found this to be a fun activity and also something that helps me get ready for journaling so that when I have a minute to sit down and journal or write in my um, faith journal, prayer request or whatever, I'm kind of more pumped for it because I've had some embellishing done to the pages. I just think that the the visual um, draw to that makes makes it seem a little more exciting to pick up a pen and start writing. Um, typically, I will you know journal and then um, decorate the page afterwards. But the other night, I was sitting at the kitchen table and I was talking with my daughter and her fiance and. I was just enjoying kind of doing some artsy stuff while we were having a conversation. So this is the kind of thing that I did and it was super fun. I said that, but I, I just really enjoyed it, found it to be relaxing and I also found it to be a super good way of using up a lot of the stash that I have. When I started um, this form of journaling about, oh, four years ago, you know, it's all a learning experience. Um, it was for me, and I have found over the past few years that there's certain things I, I like more than others. So at first I was buying all kinds of things for Bible journaling and for this kind of journaling. And then later I found that I didn't go to as many things as quickly. So all that to say, I'm trying to use things up so that what I have on hand is what I typically want to have on hand, what I want to use. Now, I love all this. I'm not saying that I don't like that, but I'm just saying use up the stuff. And if you have things that you maybe don't use as often, incorporate that and see how you like it. And just uh, take advantage of the supplies that are already on hand. So here is a good example. Um, I have this brown craft traveler's notebook. Um, these are from Amazon. You get three to a pack. And I just enjoyed kind of trying to coordinate here mostly things around the turquoise and the butterflies. So there's some metallic effects. I have a little bit of a glare and I I don't have the best lighting. So I'm sorry about that up there kind of being reflective. Um, I know that can get annoying to see, but yeah, it really shimmers in the light. This is like blue and gold. Anyway, so I kind of repeated the elements here and here to give it some balance, but added this little guy for a little bit of an asymmetrical touch. So what I was doing when I did this the other night, especially, was just kind of look at my washi, look at the colors I had available, and tried to come up with some combinations I don't typically go to. I do love this orangey yellow. I use that a lot. Um, but here I tied in a little bit of different elements. So in these neo colors, I use this. Um, what do they call it? It's just basic. They're just. It's their basic orange. If you're not familiar with these, they're like a uh, oil pastel. They kind of go on like a crayon, but much smoother. And you can also put them on dry, or you can put them on dry and then apply moisture or you could even dip them in water. So what I did here was spread that and then smeared it with a baby wipe. I always keep a thing of baby wipes on hand, just this kind of thing for crafting, but to wipe my hands or to clean my stencils and stamps. So here I have washi tape that shows scenery. And I think that's a, a Picasso or Van Gogh, Van Gogh, I think. Um, again here, pinks and then washi tape with pink and orange and butterflies and bugs. These are all really easy. It uses up your supplies. Um, if you're like me, I mean, you you want to try new things, but you also feel like I have plenty. And I like the things I have, but I'm also ready to just like keep working on using them and not just having them sit and then later on down the road, I'll see more maybe of a style that really speaks to me, not just the first thing I see and I buy it like I, I did at the beginning. Um, 
that's kind of my goal is just to use up the stuff. Most of what I have now I do I do enjoy. But anyway, I want to use some so I can make room for maybe trying out some new ones eventually. But I'm really trying to be focused on using what I have and enjoying what I have. I like this mix. Um, three different kinds of washi, but a little bit of uh, a symmetrical look with the constellation washi here and the polka dots here. And other than that, it's just plain. I will go back later with this handy dandy number stencil that I believe a lot of journalers have. I got this on Amazon. I have also looked for that and heard that that's no longer there, but there may be something similar or try Etsy or another vendor. Here I use more Neo Color here and I, I did to, uh, try to like um, smear that with a wipe and two red strips. So that takes up a lot of the writing space, I realize, but and this would be a narrow way to write. So my plan here is to write sideways in the journal and just kind of mix that up a little bit. Here I have an illustrated Faith Heart Washi, which has been a favorite. It shows up a little bit here, the background, but like on the Bible journaling, Bible journaling Bible pages, it's more creamy and it almost looks like the hearts are just printed on the page. That's an effect I, I really enjoy with washi, is being able to see through it. But I like, I like all washi. This one's similar. I didn't think about the fact that I was using greens twice in a row. But here again, wanted to use a little bit of that up. And here was a fun little mix. These here are from my daughter. Um, they are the uh, more plasticky washi, like you would get at Dollar Tree or something. I think it's really pretty. But it definitely is a different texture than this. This is definitely more like masking tape. So I like that. It's a little bit of a metallic effect with a shiny but not metallic. And then here's a coffee themed one. So you can see how all this is super easy. I just grabbed a few rolls, put them down, used a couple different black and white washies with the coffee themed. This is the same roll and this is a different roll. Um, I don't actually think they came in the same set. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby and this at Michael's a while back. But I love the coffee themed things. They're just a lot of fun. And then here I tried something that was a little new for me, not earth shattering news or anything, but um, just layered the washi. So I put down the bright green and then the stripes. Here I put this like pink sprinkle with the cute little colorful owls and then a metallic and uh, turquoise polka dot. And I just added a little playful touch there. All of these, like I said, I will add to the date to. I really like this look. I learned that from watching several YouTubers that did uh, journaling. And I really like how it looks to add the big numbers for the date. And this is three layers of washi. And the common element here is the yellow and this orange, orangish washi, the polka dot and the yellow here, and then also the grayish and the orange pickup. I just, I kind of liked that. There's something new, it uses up your stuff. I think why I'm focusing on the idea of using it up is that it's not sitting there, that you're being productive with the stuff you had, have and are being generous with it. Like it doesn't need to be meted out. Just throw it on there and have fun with it. And these are super good for that. I, I like using these Neo Colors. Um, they're not something I would use for a fine line, but they are good for putting down bold color, color. At least that's how it works for me. I, I don't claim to be a knowledgeable artist, but that's something that works for me. And then to show you here, um, these pages here are my everyday journals where I'll record, um, you know, say we went to the zoo or we went out to eat or such and such kids are at work or whatever. Um, just for fun, just a record of days kind of thing, more brief. And then in this one that I had cut down um, to fit the standard size, I've done a similar thing. I've used these Tim Holtz stamps. So you can get the big full-size ones or these little ones, which I kind of like having because I find that I go to certain colors over and over and others not as much. This is a good way to try them out. And so 
there may be some that I would buy the full size with, but I haven't really used up any of them, and I've had them for a few years, so they're, they're really good. But um, anyway, what I would do is just take the lid off, set that aside, and just do that kind of motion. Crisscross it if I want these X's or a smeary kind of application. You can use the uh, dauber too, um, but if I'm in a hurry or just want to get a lot done, I kind of like this just as well, but it's a different effect. This is a washi that looks like leaf uh, flower petals, and I added a couple birds. So it just makes it fun, you know, so when I get to that, I'll be like, oh, it's already decorated, I can write and do my number, and it just kind of keeps it going, and it allows me to be creative but at the moment that I'm journaling, I don't have to do both the journaling and the decorating, which seems to work out well um, sometimes if I just don't have a good chunk of time to do both. And then this also allows your inks to dry. In this case, I just took this yellow mustard seed. These are the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Went all over, and then I took my new favorite color, this crushed olive. My friend Debbie showed me that, and of course I had to buy it. And I did that, and then I wanted to tie in more of a blue turquoisey, so I used this peacock feather one, which looks very turquoise-ish. That's the color you're seeing here. And then I just did a couple layers of washi. You can see here, very basic, more of a balanced, <clears throat> formal, or Kind of a restrained look where this is more playful and exaggerated. A couple words uh, from some word washi. And again, just a basic washi, more of a vintage look here. And I used this uh, tea dye. I really have a shadow there, don't I? I need to get my technical crew on my lighting. And when I say that, I mean my 14 year old son. Anyway. <laughs> I did that there to just add a little more color to the edges. Here I focus more on uh, metallic gold and then a little playful touch of the watermelons and the birds. Totally different, not my typical style. I always gravitate towards, you know, colors like this, earthy or <clears throat> maybe you might say fallish, but deep, rich um, shades versus the brighter, but I'm working on thinking outside the box and enjoying color, even though they're not always what I'm drawn to, I want to enjoy the beauty of all different colors. And this one is really a simple design, but one of my favorites, because these coffee cups and the little striped and dotted washi have a metallic effect, almost like a vintage, uh, uh, what's that word for the, like, gilting, like where the gold is applied on there. It's not like real solid, but it looks kind of antiqued. It was very simple, but a great way to use up those. And then I think my overall favorite was this page where I inked up the edges like I showed you, and I used this, <clears throat> excuse me, this vintage type washi that says things like, follow your dreams, the time is now, and so forth. So I noticed the <clears throat> Sorry, I have allergies. It just all summer, my throat's like that. It has this turquoisey color, and so that's what I was looking for. Wanted bright turquoise. I I like how the words kind of tied in with that, but kind of toned it down a little. But then I also added the bright elements of the metallic butterflies and the cute little bird, and then the gold going different opposite ways. I really like that look. That. That was fun. I like the texture, I like the depth, of the creativity of it, um, the visual interest, to have something a little more detailed than maybe like this entry. But this will be fun too, it's all different, so I was trying to think outside the box. So that's the last one I did there. This is my everyday <clears throat> journal, that blue one was. And then in my faith journal, I wanna see if I have any here. I don't, oh yeah, I do have one. I did this one ahead of time also. I inked up the, not inked up the edges, but used the Neo color. I think I like the Neo colors. Mm, I don't know. 
they're okay on this brown. I think some of them, it just kind of looks kind of dirty. But I think that the inks would have the same look, so it kind of can go either way with this craft paper. But I do like how this worked out. Like I said, I'd put this down ahead of time. When I came across this Bible verse today, I really was um, encouraged by that and just felt such like a, the sense of rejoicing that there was when this man came to Christ and his family. And so I wanted to just kind of rewrite that verse. So I did that in a pink that I tried to match up with what I had previously put down and just worked with what was there. This ended up turning out gray, even though it was a blue marker. But that, you know, again, with the craft paper, sometimes the color can turn out a little different than you're expecting. Um, I could have swatched that, you know, back here or something. But it didn't matter that much to me. I just wanted to kind of do it and commemorate it. So um, that's my suggestions. And I, I really think it's, like I said, a great way to use up your stash. By the way, this is not my stash. I have like 10 more of these. So not... Not an overabundance, but certainly plenty to work with. And then another thing I've been working on along with that is just to get out my little ephemera notebook and use the stuff. Yes, it's fun to see in here. I'm like, oh, that's cute. That's fun. I want to take this stuff out and I want to add it to these pages and really just have fun filling up a page and writing on it afterwards. There's plenty more notebooks I can get, so I want to enjoy using all these fun little pieces, bits and tidbits or whatever and add it to my journal. Sometimes I'll take out a picture from a nature magazine and use that to decorate a cover of one of the inserts. I typically use that kind of thing for that. So that's all I have for you tonight. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope this just kind of encouraged you to get out your stuff and use it up. And just want to say, when you have these in a palette like this, it's really kind of fun to look at it and think, oh, I could use these colors, or I could use these colors. It kind of, just that visual of those colors next to each other can sort of inspire you to try new combinations. As I'm looking at this, I kind of want to try maybe those three next time, or like those. So think outside the box, try new colors, use up your supplies and enjoy journaling. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.